Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. My name is Zibun Sakhatak. I'm working in Frontier Institute of Medical Sciences, Aptaba. ضروری ہدایات آپ کے پاس انٹرنیٹ کی سہولت موجود ہو جس سے ویڈیو ڈاؤن لوڈ ہو سکے آپ لیکچر کو توجہ کے ساتھ سنیں اور لیکچر نوٹ اپنے پاس نوٹ کیا کریں نیچے موجود لنک پر کلک کر کے آپ اس لیکچر کے نوٹس ڈاؤن لوڈ کر سکتے ہیں آخر میں دیئے گئے اسائنمنٹ کو حل کر کے آپ کوارڈینیٹر کو بجوا دیں چینل کو سبسکرائب کر کے بیل آئیکن ضرور کلک کریں گھر پر رہیں اور محفوظ رہیں صحت اللہ کی بہت بڑی نعمت ہے Scope of Epidemiology Historically, epidemiology was concerned with studying infectious diseases such as cholera, plague, smallpox, yellow fever, and typhoid, which until the 20th century were the most important threats to human life and health. In the past, the term epidemic was used to describe an acute outbreak of infectious disease. However, Epidemiology has expanded greatly in scope and the definition of epidemics now stressed the concept of excessive prevalence of disease. As its basic implication, epidemiologists are now concerned not only with the infectious disease but also with those presumed to be non-infectious heart diseases, diabetes, accidents, injuries, cancers, and mental illness. Thus, modern epidemiology has taken within its scope all diseases, whether acute or clinical, or chronic, physical or mental, communicable or non-communicable, and health-related states and events occurring in human population. Now, epidemiology is concerned with this systemized study of number one, whole population in their living and working environment, number two, factors that determine a state of health and disease, third, pattern of health as well as pattern of illness, fourth, mass phenomena and effect of diseases or condition of groups or individuals as small as family or as large as whole community, nation or group of nations. Fifth, distribution and causes of human health problems. Sixth, multiple factors of causation. Seven, measures of prevent, prevention and control. The ultimate aim is to reduce problems and its consequences in the community by number one studying variation in the occurrence and distributions of communicable diseases in different communities number two establishing a community diagnose of the presence nature and distribution of community disorders through more morbidity and mortality rates along with the identifying high risk population. Third, identifying cause of communicable diseases by defining various geographic, demographic, genetic, environmental and social factors. Fourth, estimating individual risk and chances towards disease occurrence in general or specified segments of population. Fifth, identifying and describing various syndromes in the community. Sixth, detecting clinical and subclinical forms of disorders in communities for early diagnosis through screening mechanism. Seventh, studying knowledge, attitude, beliefs and practices of communities towards communicable problem and development intervention programs. Eighth, investigating epidemics, problems and to evolve, evolve appropriate intervention programs. Ninth, completing natural history of disease affecting general population. Tenth, developing strategies 
for planning organizing implementing integrating and evaluating services in communities epidemiology has a triangle it is called epidemiological triangle or epidemiological trait the epidemiological traits three characteristics are examined to study the causes for disease in analytic epidemiology host agent environment in the center there is a time three factors for a disease result from interaction of three factors host person agent bacterium environment contaminated water pollution host characteristics age sex race religion customs occupation genetic profile marital status family background previous disease immune status environmental characteristics temperature humidity altitude crowding housing neighborhood culture food water religion education community lifestyle health services social and political organization air pollution water pollution soil pollution noise pollution radiation agent characteristics biological bacteria viruses protozoa fungus chemical poison alcohol physical excessive heat cold humidity sound fire nutrition nutritional or nutrient characteristics lack or excess causes protein malnutrition anemia goiter obesity and vitamin deficiencies chemical endogenous there is two type of chemical agents number 1 endogenous uric acid urea kidney stone jaundice exogenous allergens metals fumes dust gases insecticides epidemic occurs when host agent and environmental factors are not in balance due to new agent due to change in existing agent that is infectivity pathogenicity virulence due to change in number of susceptible in the population due to environmental changes that affect transmission of the agent of growth of the agent there is a epidemiological activities which are divided into four parts demographic distribution geographic distribution seasonal patterns and temporal trends frequencies of disease patterns epidemiological activities a are built around the analysis of the relationship between exposures and number 2 disease occurrence b are built around the analysis of differences between cases and healthy controls aims of epidemiology according to the international epidemiological association epidemiology has three main aims to describe the distribution and magnitude of health disease 
of health and disease problems in human population two to identify etiological factors that is risk factors in the pathologies of disease risk factors are further divided into five parts that is disease and risk factors disease heart disease factors which are contributing or we called it risk factors there is a smoking high blood pressure cholesterol diabetes obesity and lack of exercise while disease cancer and its risk factors are smoking alcohol solar radiation environmental pollution infectious agents and dietary factors Str disease stroke and its risk factors are high blood pressure smoking elevated elevated cholesterol disease motor vehicle accidents and its risk factors are alcohol non use of seat belts speed automobile design roadway design and disease diabetes and its risk factors are obesity and diet third we have to provide the data essential to the planning implementation and evaluation of services for the prevention and control fourth to eliminate or reduce the health problems for its consequences fifth to promote the health and well-being of society as whole uses of epidemiology to determine describe and report on the natural course of disease disability injury and death death to to aid in the planning and development of health services and programs third to provide administrative and planning data fourth to study the cause or etiology of disease or diseases or conditions disorders disabilities etc to determine the primary agent responsible or a certain causative factors to determine the characteristics of the agent or causative factors to determine the mode of transmission to determine contributing factors to identify and determine geographic patterns there is a epidemiological approach the epidemiological approach to problems of health and disease is based on two major foundation number 1 is the asking question and number 2 is the making comparisons in the asking questions epidemiology has been defined as a means of learning or asking question and getting answers that lead to further questions related to health events a what is the event the problem b what is its magnitude c what did it happen d when did it happen e who are affected and f why did it happen related to health actions what can be done to reduce this problem and its consequences b how can it be prevented in the future c what action should be taken by the community by the health services by other sectors where and for whom these activities be carried out d what resources are required how are the activities to be organized e what difficulties may arise and how might they be overcome answer to the above questions may provide clues to disease etiology and help the epidemiologist to guide planning and evaluation B we have a making comparison 
The basic approach in epistemology is to make comparisons and the intra inference. This may be comparison of two or more group, one group having the disease or exposed to risk factor, while the other group not having the disease or not exposed to risk factor, or comparison between individuals. By making comparisons, the epistemologist tries to find out the crucial differences in the host and environmental factors between those affected and none affected. There is a tools of measurement which are usually used in the epidemiology. These measurement tools are ratio, rate and proportion. All signify a relation between numerator and denominator. Ratio. A relation between two random quantities that is when numerator is not a part of the denominator. Another measure of disease frequency is a ratio. It expresses a relation in size between two random quantities. The numerator is not a component of the denominator. The numerator and the denominator may involve an interval of time or may be instantaneous in time. Broadly, ratio is the result of dividing one quantity by another and it is expressed in the form of x ratio y or x divided by y. Rate. A rate measures the occurrence of some particular event development of disease or the occurrence of death in a population during a given time period. It is a statement of the risk of developing a condition. It indicates the change in some event that takes place in a population over a period of time. For example, typical rate is the death rate. It is written as death rate is equal to number of deaths in one year divided by mid-year population multiplied by 1000. This is a formula. A rate comprises the following elements numerator, denominator, time specification and multiplier. The time dimension is usually a calendar year. The rate is expressed per 1000 or some other round figure 10,000 1 lakh selected according to the convenience or convention to avoid fractions. Numerator is a part of a denominator measured per unit time. Proportion Numerator is a part of the whole denominator. A proportion is a ratio which indicates the relation in magnitude of a part of the whole the numerator is always included in the denominator. A proportion is usually usually expressed as a percentage. Example, proportion is equal to the number of children with scabies at a certain time divided by the total number of children in the village at the same time multiply by 1000. Measurements in epidemiology. The scope of measurements in epidemiology is very broad and unlimited and includes the following measurement of mortality, measurement of morbidity, measurement of disability, measurement of natality, measurement of the presence, absence or distribution of the characteristics or attributes of the disease, measurement of medical needs, healthcare facilities, utilization of health services and other health related events, measurement of the presence, absence or distributions of the environmental and other factors suspected of causing the disease and measurement of demographic variables. The various categories of rates are cruel rates. Cruel rates both are used in death rate or in birth rate. These are the actual observed rates such as the birth and death rates 
Crude rates are also known as unstandardized rates. Number two, specific rate. These are the actual observed rates due to specific causes, for example, tuberculosis, or occurring in specific groups, for example, age, sex groups, or during specific time periods, for example, annual, monthly, or weekly rates. Third, standardized rates. These are obtained by direct or indirect method of standardization or adjustment, for example, age and sex standardized rates. Measurement of mortality. Traditionally and universally, most ophthalmological studies begin with mortality data. Mortality data are relatively easy to obtain and in many countries reasonably accurate. Many countries have routine system for collecting mortality data. Each year information on death is analyzed and the resulting tabulations are made available by each government. Mortality data provide the starting point for any ophthalmological studies. In fact, they are the major resource of for the ophthalmologist. Use of mortality data. Statistics on causes of death are important and widely used for a number of purposes. They may be employed in explaining trends and differentials in overall mortality, indicating priorities for health action and the allocation of resources in designing intervention programs and in the assessment and monitoring of public health problems and programs. Moreover, they give important clue for ophthalmological research. Specific death rate. Specific death rate due to tuberculosis is equal to number of deaths from tuberculosis during a calendar year divided by mid-year population into 1000. Specific death rate for males is equal to number of deaths among males during a calendar year divided by mid-year population of males into 1000. Specific death rate in age group 15 to 20 years is equal to number of deaths of person aged 15 to 20 during a calendar year divided by mid-year population of persons aged 15 to 20 into 1000. Death rate for January. The note the deaths are multiplied by 12 in order to make the monthly death rate comparable with the annual death rate. Deaths in January into 12 divided by mid-year population multiplied by 1000. And weekly death rate is equal to death in the week into 52 divided by mid-year population multiplied by 1000. Infant mortality rate. The numerator is the number of deaths among children one, one under one year of age reported during a given time period, usually a calendar year. The denominator is the number of live births reported during the same time period. The infant mortality rate is usually expressed per 1000 live birth. Maternal mortality rate. The maternal mortality rate is really a ratio used to measure mortality associated with pregnancy. The numerator is the number of deaths assigned to causes related to pregnancy. During a given time period, the numer denominator is the number of live births reported during the same time period because maternal mortality is much less common than infant mortality. The maternal mortality rate is usually expressed per 1 lakh live births. In 1988, the maternal mortality rate was 8.4 per 1 lakh live births. Sex specific mortality rate. A sex specific mortality rate is a mortality rate among either males or females. Both numerator and denominator are limited to the one sex. Age specific mortality rate, the numerator is the number of deaths in that age group, the denominator is the number of persons in that age group in the population. Age specific mortality rates are neonatal and infant mortality rates. Incidence rates. Incidence rate is defined as the number of new cases occurring in a defined population 
during a specified period of time it is given by the formula incidence is equal to number of new cases of specific disease during a given period of time divided by population at risk during that period multiply by 1000 reflects rate of disease occurrence a change in the balance of etiological factors uses of incidence rate the incidence rate as a health status indicator is useful for taking action a to control disease for research into etiology and pathogenesis distributions of diseases and efficacy of preventive and therapeutic measures prevalence the term disease prevalence refers specifically to all current cases old and new existing to a given point in time or over a period of time in a given population a broader definition of prevalence is as follows the total number of all individuals who have an attribute or disease at a particular time or during a particular period divided by the population at risk of having the attribute or diseases at this point in time or midway through the period although referred to as a rate prevalence rate is really a ratio prevalence is of two types point of relevance and period of prevalence prevalence is of two types that is point of prevalence and period prevalence this is a recovery bar tap the tap the water is flowing in the tap it's called incidence it's mean that a number of new cases is coming in the hospital while this portion the water ref- indicates it's a prevalence it's mean that the number of new cases and old cases are also in the hospital so the relationship is that if these patients are recovered or these patients are dead this is the relationship between incidence and prevalence uses of prevalence e prevalence helps to estimate the magnitude of health disease problems in the community and identify potential high risk population b prevalence rates are specially useful for administrative and planning purpose for example hospital beds manpower needs rehabilitation facilities thank you